Welcome to the Windows and Computer Channel. And uh, well, if we look at this here, we had like a, we mentioned before two versions of Windows 10. Um, what are the big features that were actually released? Uh, even the May 2020 update, which is a big feature update, doesn't have that many new features. One of the things we know is that Cortana is deprecated. I get a lot of requests of people saying, hey, Cortana doesn't do things I liked it to do in the past. Well, sorry, but Microsoft is refocusing Cortana to something else. So it lost a lot of capabilities that consumers liked, and uh, they're refocusing that on the uh, you know, um, fact that they want everybody to be a lot more efficient on their PCs and that uh, basically the task that it will do is to just make you a little more performance on your tasks, especially at work. So unfortunately, Cortana is deprecated. But one of the things that was kind of cool in the May 2020 update that I thought, you know, we always needed tools and utilities to see this before. But now when you go to the task manager, one of the things that you have in performance tab is the temperature of your GPU. You now know that your graphics processor, what temperature it is, you even you know all the details of you know how much RAM it uses and how much performance it's actually giving out. But now you have temperature. So here you see I'm at 49 Celsius. Uh, the other one here, because I have two GPUs here, it's uh, 43 Celsius, 44 on this one. So temperature is in there. One thing that a lot of you have been mentioning is why isn't the CPU temperature there? I got to say, if you had to add GPU temps, why not add CPU temperatures also? I totally agree with you guys on this one. That also should have been here. Unfortunately, it doesn't log or monitor this. The other thing is the disk. When you look at the disk uh, activity, it now tells you, do you have a HDD or SSD? HDD, normal hard disk drive, which is, you know, good old mechanical drive. SSD for solid state drive. So now it tells you and makes a difference between both. In the October 2020 update, what was probably the most interesting aspect is a start menu and a accent color in the looks and feel that follows your background picture. But also, there's a little more, is that before the October 2020 update, we had blue icons with something in the middle which were like very blocky. Now the icons are still square. They're still, you know, square blocks. But there's a big difference is that they actually follow the accent color also. So there's a subtle change in the start menu. A lot of people are asking, saying, hey, I don't see this and I don't see any difference. Just make sure that in your settings, you have enabled one thing in system. Here, go into the um, colors of your display. So uh, personalization, sorry. And go into colors of your display. I said system, but it's personalization. Uh, colors. Now here, whatever you choose, go down. Make sure you have a check mark. Automatically pick an accent color from the background. And make sure that you have start, taskbar, and action center, title bars, and windows borders checked is very important. This means every time there's a change in your background, so you see here I've got some bluish colors right now. Let's uh, move the uh, to the next background color here. Here we go. And look at that, my taskbar change. Start menu is now brown, even the action center. It follows the main color of your background picture. So that is something to check out. And uh, it's kind of cool. And kind of makes it a little different. A little different, you know. So check that out. These are some of the cool features we had this year. 
Even though we didn't have that many, there are some really cool features in the May and October 2020 update. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.